girl is looking rough. I don't need to be groomed. I don't need to be groomed. I sprayed my eye. You're disgusting. sleep well sometimes I move downstairs to the couch and off of my bed so that I could try and sleep better because sometimes like moving positions to somewhere else I can sleep better but nope did not happen so I'm gonna do this little eye mask while I you know do my little morning routine for the day because the girl is looking rough I like this one rejuvenating okay my love so for my walk I'm going to put on the Julia Renee and squeeze me skinny waist trainer first I like to be already wearing my seamless shapewear cami and I just kind of like roll it up these are great for any outfit not just workouts they also have like a sticky inside so it hugs your waist and makes you look all snatched so Next, I apply the Titan Toned Cream. If you've never used it before, I would start with one or two pumps of the product because it does start heating up once you start moving. And it could be a little bit alarming if you haven't used it before. So you can see that I'm using a lot more than one to two pumps because I've been using it for years. So next, I put the seaweed wrap over the Titan Toned Cream before the cream has dried because it helps stick to the seaweed wrap and then it keeps the cream from touching your waist trainer so it can make it last longer. Also, I put the neoprene waist trainer over it and then voila, you are done. Is it voila or is it voila? I always say voila, but it's voila. <laughs> if you're curious about finding the right size, check out the video that I have above and explains all you need to know about sizing. day in the life I start off in the morning and I'm like I can forget what I do I didn't even do my intro but I gotta fill my water bottle up talking about reading The Power of One More by Ed Milet. I'm also reading Flex Your Confidence Muscle by Janelle Lynn and Brain Over Binge. <laughs> so you might 
might be asking, Julia, why are you reading three books at one time? Because I have a binge eating support group and we meet every Tuesday morning, which we met yesterday, and we have, we're going over this book. So we're gonna start chapters 11 through 13 next week. So if that's something you wanna do, it's a free service. We meet every single week and we're going over the book and we're getting into the real juicy part. So I'm reading this. I already finished this book because actually on today's video, you're gonna see us interview her today. So I bought her book because I wanted to be prepared for any questions I was gonna ask her. This is by far the most relatable book that I have ever read. And I don't say that lightly. Reading it, you're gonna read it, especially if you're like a young girl in the, I, if you're just a girl, I think that you would relate to this because she goes into so much detail about her childhood, like things that you wouldn't think to write in a book. She was not afraid to write in a book. So I'm not gonna give too much away because we're gonna have a whole podcast interviewing her. And then I'm reading The Power of One More by Ed Milet. This is like my personal one. So I've been reading these two recently, so I had to put a pause on this one because I wanted to finish the Flex Your Confidence Muscle before the interview today, so I finished it a couple days ago. But we're gonna read this. So we gotta do our 7,500, 10 pages. We're gonna fill out the journal and then continue on. the episode where um, I was telling you guys this morning that I'm gonna be interviewing Janelle and I was reading her book so the way that I actually found her was through one of my good friends Emily Hayden you guys have heard me talk about her plenty of times she's been on my YouTube channel also and I've been on her podcast I still need to get her on my podcast but um, I'm just re-listening to the episode just so I can it's basically like it's just so cool. It's like, I, I just love my job so much because like part of my job is researching these like incredible people and finding out their stories so that I can share them with you guys. So I'm just listening to it for the second time and it's so amazing. So I am, um, it's on Emily Hayden's podcast. Um, and then you'll get to see the one that we, okay. I had to run downstairs and grab a battery because my battery literally died right in the middle of my TED talk. So we're gonna jump in the shower. We gotta get camera ready for the podcast because we're gonna be filming. This is how I literally go a week without washing my hair. And I love it because washing and blow drying my extensions literally takes
and I need to make my greens. I have been slacking on making my greens and being like consistent with it. Like I'll do it one day, but not like the other day. So I think I'm like officially on like day five or six of doing it every single day, even if I don't want to, because yesterday I was like, oh, you know, it's like, it's such a small thing, but I was like, okay, maybe I'll just like do it later. But for me, if I don't do it when I think about it, I ain't gonna do it. And I don't know if you're like me, but yeah, so we're gonna make our greens. Okay, so first we're going to do two scoops of the First Form Opti Reds. This has over 50 fruits and I think fruits and vegetables as well. It has a lot of antioxidants. And then my ultimate favorite is the Opti Greens. So we're gonna do two scoops of this also. This one has over 50 organic greens and vegetables as well. This one really helps with your digestion and if you struggle with bloat, especially like for me, I just got off my period and I was like so bloaty. And that's honestly what made me start like reintroducing this into my routine because I had forgot and my bloat was significantly decreased. And then this is a scoop of fiber because most of the time we are not getting enough fiber in the day on our own with our food. So that helps me do that and then this isn't really for digestion or anything but this is glutamine so it helps with recovery and preserving muscle tissue so i just mix it all in together and then i have told you guys but this is literally the best blender ever i got it on amazon and it's so pretty look at it and one click boom it's just like so strong it's got lots of power i love it but that water is so cold. Nailed it. I love days like this because whenever I'm like super busy, my overnight oats comes in handy. I've been sleeping on these for such a long time because I was like, it's so overrated, whatever. But convenience wise, it is like the perfect thing. So I just make them for the week in these little containers and they're on my Amazon favorites list if you want to find them. But they're a lot bigger so I can fit a lot more in it. But I did like a little strawberries and cream one. I just did um, some oats. I did two tablespoons of chia seeds and then I do a scoop of the first from Formula One, which is in vanilla. And then I do a little tablespoon of Greek yogurt on top and it makes it like really creamy and nice. Just look at this, guys. Look at it. Look at it. It's so good. Mm. Okay, so I've done everything I need to do, at least for this morning portion. So now I'm gonna prepare for the podcast. Kendall's here, everybody. Everybody. We're getting ready to do our interview with Janelle. I already showed you guys the book this morning, but here it is again. We're gonna be doing it over Zoom because she lives in California. We're not technically doing it over Zoom. We found this like, what did you call it? Source that we can film it and record it and the quality is way better because we do post it to the YouTube channel. So if you don't follow the Know Your Power YouTube channel, go follow it because you can actually see us like talking in person. You'll be able to see this video there too. So go find it. It's true. She lives here in Austin with me too. And I'm like, never leave me, please. Because it's like, oh, we, uh, we are so different and it really works because we are so different. So we kind of complement each other's I guess lacking points are not not a uh, not um good strengths. We have different strengths. Exactly. So um, yeah, it works out really well. How did you two meet originally? So our boyfriends at the time knew each other and set up like a couples workout. Um, so we met through that and then we're both pretty introverted so we didn't talk for like a year and then i hired her boyfriend as my coach for bodybuilding and we started working out like once a week and it just kind of snowballed from there <laughs> okay we are done with the podcast and now we're gonna have some lunch because i am 
starving. I am feeling some beef and some white rice. You guys know I like keep them in giant containers so that it's super easy. And I also keep like a little measuring thing in it so you can just scoop it out. I don't have one in my rice right now, but I should. There we go. So we just interviewed Janelle and our pod, I think the podcast should come out on March 15th. So we are pretty ahead on our podcast. So it's like, I want it to come out sooner because it's so good, but it's like, we have so many good guests that are already coming to before that. And we're kind of like so ahead that then we're like, oh shit, now the people have to wait. But it was so amazing. She's so awesome. So I can't wait for you guys to hear that. So now all I have to do, warm this up. And I got one of these little holy guacamoles, the spicy ones, and it comes in the perfect little container. So I don't have to cut an avocado or nothing. And we're gonna put some franks. I don't know why, but now we're going to download all of the stuff from the podcast. We're going to organize it so that Ian can put it all together so that you guys can listen to it. I'm going to do work for a couple hours. I have to do, I have to also go and like fit in a workout, wash my car, go get a tan, finish this YouTube video. And then my mom and I are actually going to the Journey concert this evening. I bought her tickets to it for Christmas and now it's February 22nd when I'm filming this. So we're going. So I have to do all of that before the concert. go to the gym we are gonna do kind of like a full body session today um, hitting all of the areas that I don't really hit all that often because you guys know I mainly hit legs but I was just really struggling to get ready for this workout I even like changed my shirt I like changed so many different times I was having one of those moments where I just like kept picking at my body in the mirror and then I was like I have been standing here for like way too long and I just kept like kept standing there and you know when you like realize what you're doing and you still do it that's what kept happening and then finally I was like okay force yourself to, to move. And then I went downstairs and then I looked in the mirror again at the mirror downstairs and I was like, I'm gonna change my shirt. So it was just one of those, like I'm struggling today with the body image thing, not, not getting to me, but I just was like, I don't feel like working out and I want to be comfortable. And so it was big t-shirt and a legging kind of day. And sometimes it's those kinds of days and sometimes it's not. Like yesterday I worked out in like my tiny little, um, what's it called, bodysuit. Sometimes it's like your your confidence level is there for the day and you're like, yeah. And then other days like today and you just wanna be in a big t-shirt and leggings and sometimes that's gonna be okay. So <sighs> that's what today's gonna be. 
So we got our pre-workout. I'm gonna start drinking like half of it right now and then I drink the other half when we get to the gym. Big chug. Okay, I'll save you for the gym. Okay guys, so for this upper, do upper body day, I started off with the row machine. I was honestly really surprised with my strength on this machine since I haven't used this exact one in a really long time. But when I used to train back a lot more, it was one of my favorites. So I started with two light warm-up sets and then moved into three sets of 12 for my working sets. After filling out like where my strength kind of was on this machine, by the third set, I was able to add a whole nother plate. So I had two plates on each side. So. Next, I moved into one of my favorite supersets, which is the lat pull downs and cable pullovers. And I did three sets of 12 for this superset. So I did 12 reps slow and controlled of the lat pull down. And then I used the mag bar. I don't know why, but I really love these. The, the, I just really like the grip. Then immediately went into 12 reps of cable pullovers using the rope attachment. Like I've explained in like a previous workout video, the way that I do these pullovers, it's almost like a C scooping motion from up at the top and then I like scoop right above my hips. Then I moved into some arms. I did a super set of skull crushers to target my triceps and dumbbell bicep curls to target, well, my biceps. <laughs> so I personally like using the preloaded curvy bar for the skull crushers because it just makes it like way more comfortable. And I did 12 reps of those and immediately went into 12 reps of seated bicep curls. So then I took my rest. And I did this for three sets. If you haven't tried your biceps seated, it's so much harder because you take like half of your body out of the equation. So you can't use it to help you get the weight up. Cause you know how sometimes you like use your legs to help you swing. So after doing this superset three times, my arms were gassed because I'm, I'm a weenie when it comes to biceps and triceps because I just really touch them. I don't really like go that hard on them cause I don't need to build them anymore. So that was my workout for today. Bye. Okay guys, we are back home after all of our errands. We went to the gym, we went and got a little tan, a little glow, I don't know if you can even tell. And then we went to wash our car because this week I'm going to have lunch with my dad. And I don't know about you guys, but every time that I see my dad, he always asks about my car being clean. And they're always wondering why your car's dirty. So I went to go wash my car so that he doesn't have to say that. Vision! It's so crazy because after I get home from the gym, Vision loves to lick me because he likes this like sweat. I, I just believe that he's like licking the sweat off of me. You're disgusting. He was so cute today. You feel no cutie. You fell asleep on Kendall's lap while we were doing the podcast. See, licking inside my ear. I don't need to be groomed. I don't need to be groomed. I will groom myself. Thank you. Thank you. No kisses. Thank you. I kiss you, but you don't kiss me. Yeah, I love him so much. So I have to like really quickly finish the rest of my work for the day because I gotta get ready to go to the concert with my mom. This is a pretty busy week because um, my birthday is Friday and today is Wednesday. When you guys are seeing this though, my birthday would have already been past a couple of days. So um, everybody wants to take me to lunch or to dinner or, you know, hang out because I'm just so popular. I'm just kidding. But it's gonna be a fun weekend. And Vision is going to be there. They're so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna finish some work, then get ready for the concert. Okay, so we are going to curl my hair as fast as we can for this concert. I've literally gotten so good at doing it so fast. And luckily, my makeup was like already done. So are Gucci. Oh, this is lick literally how I do it. I do it with one of these. And I know that these are so hard for people to use, but it's just, the curls just look so much better. And since my hair is like so long, then doing it on like a straightener, it literally takes forever. And sometimes the curls aren't even that good. So then I kind of like leave the ends out like this and then like straighten them like that. So the curl will look like this. And then boom, to the back. Don't, wait, did I do this wrong? Don't brush it out. 
So I'm gonna do this real quick so you guys see how I do it. loving this stuff right now. It's called Dry Texture Cream by r and Co. And literally, you know when your hair is like so clean and, and it has like no volume, so it looks like this and it feels like sand in your hair. It sounds disgusting, or it sounds, it feels like sand in your hands, but it gives your hair so much texture. So I'll just like put it up here and then put it down here. Oh my God, it smells like the beach but like not a gross beach. To give it some more volume and texture, because one thing that I lack is like, my natural hair is very like smooth and it's actually not very thick. And then I kind of like break these up just a little bit and I love having when my bangs do this like swoopy swoop thing, I feel like my part is messed up right now. There we go. Okay, I, th I think I fixed it. It probably looks exactly the same. But look. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're probably gonna put some lipstick on in the car. Okay, this is what we're wearing. Got my little flare jeans on. These are the best, they're so stretchy. And they're from Earthbound, which is literally like my favorite store. And then I got my little puffy sleeve on. The waves and the lipstick will be in the car. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day and, oh my God, I'm so tired from last night. I am not the kind of person that like goes out late, goes to concerts, goes to bars. I am in bed at like 9.30 and I got home at midnight and I was, it was so late. So I was so tired, but I feel good this morning. My mom and I, woo, we had so much fun. I'll put some pictures up on the screen of my mom and I and some videos that I took from last night. It was so much fun because getting to see her, you know, check something off her bucket list that she literally like grew up listening to that band when she was younger and then we listened to it as kids and that was my, Journey was actually my first concert that I ever went to. And then years later getting to take my mom was so much fun. But yeah, she had a lot of fun, so. I had a lot of fun too. It was so cool. We got to sit in nice comfortable seats. That's all I ever want. It's a nice comfortable seat just to watch. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. And I love you all so much. And you're more powerful than you think. Bye!